Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabir, hope you're all well. So I've got a great amp demo for you guys today. We're looking at the brand new Hughes & Kettner Grandmeister Deluxe 40. Really excited about this amplifier as I was lucky enough to go out to Hughes & Kettner HQ and I got to try one of these as soon as it arrived in the factory. So I'm really excited you guys get to hear it now. So what can't this amplifier do in the sense that it's just packed full of features? Firstly, let's talk about the visuals. It's a small lunchbox head, much like the Tube Meister and the Grand Meister stuff. Looks the same, it's got the plexiglass front with the neon blue, and you can see all the inner workings and everything like that. Secondly, it's got a really simple front panel. If we go from right to left, you've got your input, channel selection, boost button, then you've got gain, volume, your EQ section, reverb, master EQ, and your master volume. You may have noticed there's a few little buttons on the front panel here. So we've got store, which creates the preset, and then we've got effects access, which changes the gain, volume, bass, middle, treble, all to a secondary function. So it allows you to control the digital effects inside. So we can control the delay level, the feedback, the delay time, and we can also control the type of modulation and the intensity of it. So that's awesome. It saves so much space on the front panel. You've also got a noise gate and an effects loop switch as well. So just to bear in mind that everything about this amplifier is programmable and I'll go into more detail about that shortly. It's 40 watts, it's got four EL84s in the power section and three 12AX7s in the preamp section. Each channel on the amplifier also has a boost, so you could potentially put the clean on and actually get it to break up quite a lot. So that is pretty cool. The back panel is very similar to its predecessors. So we've got the speaker out with variable ohmage. We've also got a noise gate control, so obviously that determines how much of the gate you want in the, in, the, in the signal. We've then got an effects loop. We've also got the Redbox AE, which is using Kettner's proprietary emulated line-out system, which takes an XLR, and you can choose between a small and a large cab, vintage and modern, and a line and mic level. We also have Hughes and Kettner's awesome power soak feature. So on the back, we've got four buttons between 20 watts, five watts, one watt, and then zero output. So you can use this amp without sending a load to a cab with your headphones on or for silent recording. All that is also programmable. Another cool feature is the TSC, which comes on all the Tube Meisters and Grand Meisters. It's using Kettner's proprietary valve or tube health safety system called TSC, Tube Safety Control. And it monitors the health of the valves at all times. Uh, whenever there's a problem, it lets you know with the little LEDs. And then you use your guitar pick to slide around and bias it when you change them over. But it's great because you'll never have a problem with your amplifier when the TSC is working its magic. So, I've said this amplifier is programmable in its entirety and I wasn't kidding. The only thing to start off with that isn't programmable is the master volume. And that, I think, is good because if you're playing a gig on a big stage or a small stage, and you need to ride that master real quick, it's much, much easier not to have that mess up your presets and it be standalone. So I think that's great. But everything else is programmable. So the front panel, the gain, the volume, all your EQ, your digital effects, your reverb, your presence and resonance and noise gate and wattage is all programmable. It's insane. For example, I could have a low gain sound on my crunch with the mid right up, the treble right down, with my resonance and presence you know, somewhere with a bit of delay, bit of reverb, bit of chorus, and I want that on five watts setting on the back, I can program that and recall it with, with just one push of a button. This amplifier uses smart rotary controls. If you imagine that all these pots, except for the master volume, run on a value between zero and 100%, the amplifier inside can determine what value you set each pot to. So for example, this gain pot, all the way off is zero, all the way up is 100. So let's say I'm gonna set that to somewhere just over halfway. So let's call it 60%. Now the amp knows that I've set the gain to 60%. So when I go and store that, it remembers gain 60%, treble 30%, mid 47%. So it's that easy to recall. But it also does that with your noise gate, having that on or off. It also works out how much of the noise gate you've got in, so between zero and 100. It can also tell what wattage you've set on the back, so if you want it to be lower, if you want less headroom, or for whatever reason, it will remember that. And also, it remembers the secondary functions of these knobs so that you can program all your effects. This amplifier is also compatible with MIDI, and Hughes and Kenner have got their own FSM 422 foot switch, as you can see here. Now this 
is probably the easiest way to use the Grandmaster Deluxe because again you've got your banks and you've got four different presets and it's all MIDI so you can go ahead and create presets and then just use this to navigate around the amp. Something else that's amazing about the Grandmaster is that it has its own remote which you can get for your iPad and download it from the App Store and this is usable with the amp itself if you have a MIDI interface so you can do that with the Hughes & Kettner WMI1 or you can use an iRig or any kind of USB MIDI interface to hook your iPad up to the amplifier itself using its MIDI inputs. Okay, so this is the Hughes & Kettner Grandmaster 40 remote and you can get this for your iPad or any other iOS device and it's really cool because you can literally control and program everything that you can on the amp but on the app. So, at the moment I've got it in the app mode so you can see what's going on but the way it's laid out is that you've obviously got your effects area here and you've got your amp area here and then you've got your foot switch area here. So. I've got the values on so you can see what we're looking at and it's kind of cool because this is what the what the amp can read is all these different values here and that's how the smart rotary controls actually work so this is a good visual indication of what what I was explaining anyway so I can you know push up the delay I can turn it on and off I can change the feedback time the time itself and you can tap tempo if you want and modulation these are my different modulations chorus flanger phaser and tremolo and I can have the reverb on and off. Uh, now in the amp settings I can mess around with the mid-range, the bass, the volume, gain, get everything I want, change the boost, change the channel and then down in the foot switch mode I can actually select different presets that are already sort of preset into the app. Uh, but if I wanted to store my own you know I could mess around like this, change everything and then I could hit store, choose I want it to store there and you see store flashes. And the cool thing is that you can also tell the amp to change the wattage, so I can turn it down to 1 watt, or I can go silent record mode if I want to, back up to 40 watts, and you can flick through banks. And the cool thing is that if you've got your foot switch plugged in, it will change on the foot switch as well as we're moving through the banks like this. So there you go, that is the Grandmaster 40 remote, and you can get this from the App Store, and it's super, super cool if you have it hooked up to the amp using either an iRig or the WMI-1. That does mean that live you could turn up with the Grandmeister, the foot switch and an iPad and be able to do an entire set of music just controlling it with the foot switch and the iPad, jumping between presets, changing stuff, making it nice and easy. For this demonstration I'm going to be using my new uh, PRS and this is Paul's guitar and it's lovely and I'm running it into the Two Notes Torpedo Studio but I've also got the Redbox AE running into Logic as well. I'm going to blend between the two so you can hear the difference. I'll move between big cab, small cab, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do before we get into tones is show you how to make a preset really fast. At the minute we're on crunch and I want to create sort of an affected low gain leady tone. So what I'm going to do is just test, I've got the right sort of sound. <laughs> So I like that as my main tone, I'm going to put a bit of reverb in. Too many mids. Cool, so I like that. Next up I'm going to start messing around with my effects. So we hit the effects access button, starts flashing. And now all these controls here are in secondary function mode. So as you can see, everything's written above. So I'm gonna get some chorus. Okay, so I've got a preset that I like, and I'm just gonna, for the sake of it, mess with the master EQ. So I'm happy with that tone. All I need to do now is press store. If you're using the foot switch, it's even easier because once you hit store, all you need to do with this foot switch is choose the patch you want. So I want it to be on B, so I hit it. You can see the, the store light flashes, 
and then it's done. So that's how easy it is. And the cool thing is that because we've got A, B, C, and D, in one song, for example, that might be more than enough, you know, so you've got four different patches for one song. Um, but the fact that you can just jump up and down banks to access different presets that you've created makes the whole experience really straightforward. <laughs>
So there it is. There's the Hughes & Kettner Grandmeister 40. I'm amazed by how easy it is to use, how flexible it is tonally, uh, all in such a small package. And it's super user friendly. So that's my main sort of thumbs up for this amplifier is you don't have to be a tech wizard to, to work out how to use this amp to the full extent of its capability. You know, if you've got the foot switch, if you've got the FSM 432 Mark II, and you've got the GM40, even if you've got the controller for your iPad, if you've got all that stuff, it really isn't hard to create amazing presets and make it straightforward for live use. The GM40, the 40 watt all tube programmable amplifier, is £1,099. And you can find these at HughesandKettner.com. Anywhere online, if you search for them, find the closest retailer to you that stocks Hughes and Kettner. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've demonstrated this amplifier well enough. Um, please check it out. I've got all the links and all the stuff that you need to find out about it in the description box. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and share. And I will see you guys very soon. Mm -hmm.